Welcome back, Honest Man, Witcher 3, first playthrough. We are at the Temple of Lovani to meet up with Olgird and Master Mir for the conclusion of the Hearts of Stone expansion. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? Decided she'd treat you like you once treated her. The rose is a symbol of your parting. And a punishment. I suppose I deserve that. Iris, what a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though... as though... a hot iron's pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's bed. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less trouble? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pact states you can take it only once you've fulfilled three wishes, and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? What? No. We... We had it packed. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. Awesome. You cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all gears. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. What's happening? You wish to play, so let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. 
Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me, what am I? You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. It's got to be a reflection, so I just need to find a mirror. What is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. No dice. You can't possibly ogle an echo. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you? Is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me, time is running out. and spin. Children and young folk like swings. Could be scary to old folk, too. Uh, doesn't fit the other verses, though. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me to my same, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Mm, what could that be? Oh, 
awful. You're doing terribly. Remember, don't always give up. As I said, you will never find me. shunned and disdained. Could be family, I guess. Wouldn't match much else in the riddle, though. Repeat the riddle. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice. Mirror. So this is where you're hiding. <laughs> Come now. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? So you say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. <laughs> Point for me. I'll still get you. So you say, yet. So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. So, have at it. Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign? First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> it's wonderful, at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern. No care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savoured the world like never before. It was stronger, 
more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... Until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? Dim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through in doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. Mm. Well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again, yet all it feels is grief, sadness, and defeat. My life is a ruin. Mm, can't say I envy you. As the saying goes, careful what you wish for. Oh, I shall be. Believe me. Actually... I have a better idea. I'll never wish for anything again. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Lived life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Can't accept this. You can. And must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. And there we go, the conclusion of Hearts of Stone. That'll do it for now. We're going to come back next time and get into Blood and Wine, which is the other expansion. Until then, thank you all so much. Please like and subscribe. This has been Honest Man, and I'll see you next time with more Witcher 3.